Taurus. Good morning. Happy Monday. Oh, you're not wearing your crown today. What's wrong? Hmm. It's Monday, I know. I know. What else is going on, Taurus? I love you. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. <laughs> Hi, Taurus loves. What's going on, baby? Da -da -da Taurus! <laughs> Brighten up, Buttercup. Mm -hmm. Okay, love bugs. Let's get the message out for you. Okay? Spirit guides, ancestors, angels. Come on, come on. Bring me to the greatest white light. Which message for Taurus at this time, Spirit? What would you like Taurus to know? Please channel through me, Spirit, what Taurus needs to know at this time. Cleanse the energy spirit. Thank you, thank you. Any negative energy inside my energetic field or Taurus's energetic field spirit. Send it back 3,000 fold with great love and light. Mail it on back, spirit guys. Mail it on back. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, guys. There you go, Taurus. There's a little bit, baby, okay? Mm. You heard me. How you doing, baby? How you doing, baby? All right, Taurus, let's see what the crown of the reading is. We're going to do a Kipper deck this time. A kipper. Oh, you know what? Okay. We'll do this one, and then we'll do a kipper. I think that can hold up in that. Taurus, what do you do this weekend, babe? Hey, so it's Monday, right? What are you guys doing for Monday dinner tonight? What are y'all What are y'all making? I want some ideas, Taurus, okay? Yes, Taurus, I'm coming to eat at your house. I'll bring my own plate, okay? Don't worry. I, I, I'll, I'll clean the kitchen after you're done cooking. I'm a fatty. <laughs> fatty girl. Fatty girl. Fatty girl. Anybody remember that song? Sarah, what's the head, uh, the, the head of the reading? Resistant. It says rebellious, defensive, closed. Of course, what are you resisting, my love bug? Hmm. On the deck, we got afraid. Mm. Someone's afraid you're disgusted, Taurus, by them being confused or not making a decision. They're stressed about this, Taurus, because you seem happy. What the hell? I mean, what the hell? Okay. <laughs> All right, Spirit, so what is it? What's going on, Spirit? Channel, 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 channel. Let me cook, let me cook. Channel, channel, channel. Thank you. We have the two of pentacles in the reverse. Okay. Three of wands in the upright. Taurus, it looks like somebody here juggled. They're no longer trying to juggle. They're waiting on a response from you. They're resistant. They're, they're resistant. This is the whole crown of the reading. This is why the reading's here, babe. Okay? The devil. They can't stop thinking about you. Someone's in repetitive thinking. Continuous racing thoughts here. From the deck. King of Cups. Someone's in love. They don't show it. Okay, I don't know why I'm instantly getting here that someone actually like masturbates to your pictures, so whatever that's about. Okay, mm-hmm. They do some things with your, with your photos, Taurus. They're enlightened. <laughs> They're enlightened, darling. They're enlightened. Yeah, King of Pentacles in the verse. The King of Cups in the up right here. Someone that focused so much on money is now trying to focus on love. But this person can't do two things at once. They're not good at multitasking. They look to the world like they are. They think a whole lot, this devil energy, okay? They stay stuck to fear. It's an entity. It's like, it's, um, how do I say this? It's like, they fear everything. That's what this is. They fear, yet they're very impulsive. And that doesn't make sense, but it, I'm hearing it. All right, Spirit, let me get a kipper for that resistance. That's what I was going to do one for it. Resistance. Despair. Mm -hmm. Somebody juggled a connection here or something. They juggled you. Now someone's come to terms with the truth. Okay. The juggling wasn't worth it. They're resistant, Taurus. They were resistant to the connection. They were closed off. It's like they stopped in their tracks. Somebody here has horses or somebody loves horses. Wow, I've been getting that in y'all's readings lately. Someone here loves horses. Aww. Okay, cute, I like it. But someone here is in despair, okay? Yeah. 
I'm also getting the energy here towards where somebody here um, might have lost a job. Okay, yeah, because the two of pentacles is in the reverse. That king of pentacles is in the reverse. Okay, here are the king of cups in the upright with the five of wands. Somebody's deeply conflicted. Seven of swords here with the three of pentacles. Somebody likes and wants to like sway their way back into your life here towards someone from your past. Six of cups. Okay. Queen of Swords, your boundaries are up, Taurus, but somebody here really wants the Two of Cups and the Four of Wands with you. It looks like they went the wrong direction, and what's happening now, Taurus, is someone doesn't have anything to juggle because it's like they lost a job or something here. Not for everybody, but they lost a spot or something like that. Maybe they were held in high honor in some way, shape, or form, and they like... They thought some people were loyal to them, but these individuals, uh, they slept on them. They weren't as loyal as they thought this person thought they were. Y'all see that? The dog down there sleeping at their feet somebody probably thought they had a lot of uh they had a lot of inspiration for other people to keep you know this person in high honor i don't know i keep hearing high honor i guess it's a kipper deck but that's what i'm getting here and what really turned out to happen was some these individuals were sleeping on this person they were not as loyal as they thought they were so it might have cost someone to have like um a downgrade in their pay or something like that Mm -hmm. they're resistant they were closed off to change or whatnot here okay maybe in this connection but they can't stop thinking about you this devil's just automatically giving me spirit give me the devil for Taurus and thank you yeah eight of pentacles they can't stop thinking about making something work with you even though they're not in this energy Taurus of you know because we saw the king of cups we saw the king of pentacles in the reverse so they can't stop they can't stop thinking about you in some way shape or form somebody here might be in despair energy because they're afraid of you um turning away from them cancer energy the chariot two of pentacles in the reverse spirit for taurus you have the king of wands in the reverse somebody here did something uh they let less get in the way yeah five of pentacles So someone doesn't want to juggle you anymore, Taurus. Here's somebody who might have been dealing with a lustful energy that didn't want to settle down, but them not wanting to settle down with you is like giving them in the seven of pent the five I said seven, because there's two pentacles here and there's five here. The two of pentacles are in the reverse. They want to drop that juggling act. Okay, because right now they're in the five of pentacles. They're in despair. They're resistance to change. They're resistant to it. They don't like it. No one likes change. I don't believe so, Taurus. But I mean, this person should have went on ahead and went with their gut. Here we don't have this person working with intuition. They're too much letting their um their sex drive drives them through life, okay? That's what I'm getting with the King of Wands, promiscuous. Okay, it put them out in the Five of Pentacles. So somebody here that really thought they were king shit. Okay, I'm not trying to be mean, but they really did believe that they, you know. Um, yeah, they cannot stop thinking about working things out with you. Because they're in the Five of Pentacles. You're already in the Eight for some reason here, Taurus. Seven of Swords. Somebody wants to sneak in. They don't want to tell you what's going on with them, okay? They want to sneak in, three of pentacles, work with you. Yeah, look, I love you, king of cups now, five of wands. They've been conflicted with this energy within for quite some time, but they don't know how to actually express that to you. This is someone, Taurus, that's very prideful in their appearance and money and things. They, they take very great value. Um, they're very superficial, Taurus. They will make sure their car looks more decent than them um, coming towards you, Taurus, and making sure you need something to eat or something like that. That's what I'm getting here. Yeah, emperor energy here. Like they're in some way, shape, some way, shape, or form, uh, couldn't handle the responsibilities of actually being in this energy of being a boss, okay? But they walk around, like I said, King, you know, S-H-I-T, and here it is again. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Two of Pentacles in the reverse spirit, please, for Taurus. And thank you. Yeah, Five of Wands again, baby. Look, Taurus, what's going on? What? So Five of Pentacles, Five of Wands. Five of Wands is here, too. Okay. So somebody might be having to, like, battle um, a lot of different financial uh, responsibilities. Okay. Five of Swords here. Page of Wands. Nine of Swords. This person's all up in their head, y'all. What's this Five of Wands here with the Two of Pentacles in the reverse? They won't stop having you in competition because all it did is put them out in the cold. Queen of Swords. Again, your guard is up. We saw that Queen of Swords over there. Your boundaries are up. That's what's making this person feel even more despairing. 
feeling more in despair. The Knight of Wands in the reverse. This person's very promiscuous, though. I'm going to be honest here, Taurus. I think someone's bad decisions have made them feel like out in the cold. I don't know if this person lost a job or if they lost some type of contract they were doing, but they were closed off to change. So they want to stay stuck in one spot. They got what they wanted. I feel like somebody's been downgraded. I don't know why I'm getting that. Pay-wise. I, I, I don't know I'm hearing. Three of Wands, Spirit. Yeah, look. The star in the reverse. So someone else waiting on a miracle, Taurus, or they're very hopeless while they're waiting on something to come in. Okay, this is justified. Eight of swords, someone's all in their head. They were closed off to change. They stopped. They halted. There was change here for this person. Yeah, ace of wands. I'm telling you guys, this person's very, very um happy in the pants. Three of wands here. <laughs> Three of Wands with the star in the reverse and the Ace of Wands in the upright. Somebody also might have some type of STD. Very serious STD at that because the star is here in the reverse with the Ace of Wands in the upright. And despite that happening, somebody's waiting for some miracle or something to happen so they can clear all this up. I don't really know what that is. Six of Cups here. Okay. Hmm. What's going on with this spirit? Somebody really wants to have to be back with you. I don't know why I'm getting this energy. They want to be back with you. But you and this Queen of Swords energy. It's kind of hard to get past the Queen of Swords. I'm going to tell you right now. Sorry, y'all. My stomach growled. I need my coffee. Um, it's kind of hard to get past this Queen of Swords. I don't see any of her hands being extended out for, you know, normally the Rider weight tarot. It's like a hand coming out and things like that. Not here. The answer is no. I think you're very standoffish. Somebody might put you in competition, but then being promiscuous, putting you in competition, put them in the five of pentacles, juggling you. Two of pentacles in the reverse now. This person doesn't have nothing to juggle. It might be this person ran out of options. They might be waiting for some type of money or some type of relief to come in because a star in the reverse and the ace of wands in the upright or somebody's waiting for hospital, uh, not hospital, but um, uh, STD results to come in, okay? Because they feel like something's wrong. They don't have any hope for good results to come in because of this knight of wands, uh, King of Wands energy in the reverse, okay, all because of their passionate uh, endeavors or whatnot, you know, um, Aquarius energy here, but flipped over. The Three of Wands, again, somebody's really waiting for some results here, some STD results to come through, Taurus, okay, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you what I'm saying. Uh, with the Star card in the reverse here, it doesn't look like they're going to come in very quickly. This person's on edge, they feel hopeless. Something here, okay, got somebody into a very, very bad position, their promiscuity. Is that how you say that? Um, the eight, uh, not the eight, but the king of wands in the reverse. All right. It's like somebody may have cut you off. Sorry, what's this queen of swords? Queen of swords. Spirit for Taurus. There we are. Justice. You got that sword up, okay? I'm telling y'all, I'm not seeing you actually say, hey, you know, you're welcome to come through. Speak your truth. If it's, if it's, if it's a lie, I'm going to cut it. No, don't talk to me. That's what I'm hearing from the Queen of Swords. Yeah, she does talk, y'all. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't tell y'all my cards talk. <laughs> you are like, did she say that? When did she tell you this? <laughs> y'all might be looking like, what? Yeah, the lovers. Somebody takes passion to a whole new level. Look, the Two of Pentacles is up here. Okay? Somebody thought that they were uh, to infinity and beyond. No, to infinity and itching and burning. Somebody here is burning with something. And they're in despair because it's like this person here is like downgrading. I don't know why. I feel like this person in some way, shape, or form was supposed to be in, in a higher power position. But they played fool, okay? They played fool and it's like they just completely like cut something out impulsively. Not thinking. Yeah, nine of swords. So now they're stressed about it. Knight of swords and the nine of swords. Ten swords. So there's an ending here or something. Or there's one that's coming because I don't see the ten of swords yet. But I saw the number of swords. This is like someone getting karma, good karma, and then someone getting not so good karma, okay? Someone had you in competition with other individuals. Taurus, I feel like you were like hail to the nay, and then you just went on ahead and just cut it out. Well, this person's like, well, I'm going to be good anyway. They had to put them two pinnacles down. Their arms started hurting because they had to itch their privates. They had to figure out what was burning. They'd be in the shower or whatnot trying to figure out how to get it cleared up. Okay, water and soap ought to do. No, it ain't going to do. Now this person's waiting for some type of results. The devil card, but they still want to really work something with you. Seven of swords, they want to sneak back in and work with you. All right? Now the sun, they love you. They love you. Five of wands here after they put you in competition with maybe somebody from their past. You are with the queen of swords. I'll cut you. That's what I'm kidding. <laughs> 
<laughs> Turns out, no, the spirit didn't say that. But I'm just, that's what I'm getting when I automatically saw it. Because this person sees they want the two of cups. They want the four of wands. They want to invest. They have not let you go. Okay, three of swords. They have not let you go. Nine of wands. It's been a hard time. It's been a hard, tired road. Okay, but they want to take this leap. And Taurus, they want to walk away. Walk away from what? King of Swords and if you're being cold towards you and go towards what? Nine of Cups. King of Pentacles. They want to be something strong. You know, they want to reunite. Look at this. They want to make commitment towards you. All right? Let's close out the old cycles of secrets. Okay? Knight of Cups. Let me be romantic with you. I want to be your emperor, Taurus. Please don't leave me here crying. Please don't. I want the Ten of Cups. And that's the absolute truth. Taurus, listen to your gut. The high priestess. Listen to your gut. Okay? This person is extremely stressed out. Seven of Cups. They're stressed out over options that they thought were optioning. They're not. Okay? Justice is here. Justice is here. Eight of Wands. This person needs to talk to you now, Taurus. They know you kind of ghosted or you just left them alone. But they're in the Nine of Swords. All right? Queen of Pentacles. We're a match. You saw the king. We're a match. Five of Swords. Whatever mind games they were playing with you. Nine of Pentacles. You separated yourself from that. You know your words. Page of Wands. Now they, they want to talk to you. They're giddy. They're giddy. They're excited. They want to talk to you. They made some changes. They made some changes. Okay? It took some time, slowly but surely. They want to put something here to the synergy where they can lay it to rest, Taurus. They're tired of being out in the Five of Pentacles. It ain't fair. Ten of Swords. It hurts. Six of Pentacles. Can I give and take with you? Six of Swords. Let's go into calmer waters because this tower hurts and it burns. It's itching and burning. Four of Cups. I don't like it here. I hate it here. I hate it. Can you nurture me, Queen of Cups? Put, please put down the sword, Taurus, and just put that, bring that cup out again. Can I take a sip of your love? A sip of your love and a passionate night? And I think here with the Seven of Wands, this person's blocked off from having any type of connections with anybody because they're here playing some type of mind game yet again. Okay? They might have gotten involved with the Queen of Wands somewhere. All right, now they want to have a new beginning with you. All right? Because of the Knight of Swords. Whatever they did impulsively, Page of Cups, I'm sorry. Six of Wands. I thought the attention was going to get me somewhere, but really what it got me is under judgment. Under judgment, two of wands. I don't know what to do. I'm at the three of wands waiting for the results. Eight of pentacles. Can we work on it? Please, please. I've been watching you. Please. I've been seeing you trying to move on. Okay. Two of swords. I know I took a long time to make a decision. Eight of swords. You've been in my mind for a very long time. I see how strong you are. I see how strong and I see how much love you were trying to give me. You are a beautiful empress. You should be respected. Now I suddenly feel like I love you because my other lovers weren't nothing. King of wands. I try to play it. I try to, but they weren't my happy. You are. You're balanced. You're loving. You're kind. Not a wands. I treated it like it was just nothing. I went in and out. I came in and out of your life, but ended up actually keeping myself stuck. Now I want the wheel to turn in both our favors. Please, please, please allow me to give this offer, Page of Pentacles. Because that Page of Pentacles right here, I really want to build a 10. I really want to build a 10 because I know how healing and loving you are. And I need you. I don't know what made me read that whole entire deck like that, but that's what I had. Because this full card. Look, this full card started, Taurus. The man of the grape. The man of the grape. <laughs> he started it. Y'all remember, um, what was that? Uh, Drop Dead Fred. He said, it was her, guys, the lady in the grape. <laughs> so, yeah, Taurus. Mm. All right, three of wands. What's the three of wands spirit? Can you tell us? Five of cups. Y'all, somebody's in major regret. Something they did on a, on a fast whim. Okay, yeah, it's a burden on this person. This person's someone that doesn't like contract STDs and things like that, STIs or whatever. This person to me seems like they kind of more on the clean side in some way, shape, or form, but they did something here. They dropped the ball. Yep, two of pentacles. You know the two pentacles like this? Yep, they dropped one. And then bam. Yeah, the burning and the itching won't stop. Knight of Cups. All because of some little tiny passion. Teenage, teenage um dream. Teenage teenage uh act act or something here wow playing the empress the whole time keeping the empress stuck in some way shape or form but you moved on any goddamn way you know who you are you love yourself way too much you love yourself you love yourself I'm not gonna say for us you just like straight up cold to this person i mean everybody has such the stuff that happens like this before in life Okay, you can say whatever you want. People have been through this type of stuff. It doesn't have to be just results or STI. It could be for a health issue as well. But I don't know why the Ace of Wands is telling me something different. It's in the upright. So it means that some way, shape, or form, this person's still promiscuous, but they're in despair. And they're still doing things they shouldn't have no business doing. Five of Cups, but they are in regret. So Spirit, why does this person keep doing this then? 
if they so fixated on wanting to work with Taurus, why they keep doing it though? Two cards, spirit. Okay, the world card because they know that this is shut down. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. Taurus, this person cries every time they end up having some type of connection with somebody. They cry to themselves towards, yeah, the Hierophant. It's funny how I said they cry to themselves towards and I saw the Hierophant. I'm like, I had to show you. You should see my eyes like, mm, I don't know why I'm getting that. Yeah, look, here we are with the, with the devil and we have the Hierophant. Now, Taurus, what I'm feeling here automatically is this person has a hard time deciding. Thank you. That's what, thank you for confirmation, Spirit. Holy Spirit, thank you so much. The two swords, they have like the most high on one shoulder and they have like the devil on the other. And this person like grieves every time they have a sexual encounter with someone. I don't know why I'm getting that. After, you know, the big pump, 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 bow, you know, it's done. And this person's like, what have I done? I don't think they do it in front of people though. I'm not going to say that, but whatever here have you. And it's mm, very weird reading. <laughs> They've been coming out kind of strange towards, haven't they? The devil. Yeah, Page of Wands. I mean, they want to talk to you so bad. And this is the energy towards what I'm getting here with the Page of Wands. It's like an excitement, like a puppy excited. I'm not calling your person a puppy, but I'm thinking about this dog here. It's like this person, you know, when they think of you, they come out of this despair energy. Okay? They were closed off to you before, but I feel like this person's having some type of change of perspective here. Yeah, Seven of Swords. And they don't want you to know that they've changed their mind in some way, shape, or form. It's like they want to convince you. Yeah, King of Cups. But you know what? I really get this as manipulation, but I'm not feeling that. I'm feeling like this person really, like, sneakily doesn't want you to know when they're moving in silence that they actually do have feelings for you. And it's like they're the only way this person was able to tap into that is by having these connections with other people and waiting results. It's crazy. It's like somebody's whole thing changed, okay? It's like something here changed. The scales are being balanced in a very strange way here. And the five of wands, okay, with the page of wands over here, that's six wands. They're hoping that whatever they put you through, okay, they're not going to go through the same thing. And they don't have to be in so much competition to come back and speak to you. This is someone Taurus you used to love talking to all the time, I feel. Spirit, what we got for the devil here? Yeah, page of pentacles. It's like page energy, this person, Taurus, really wants to start things out slow. Four cups. Because they know they screwed up. They know they screwed up. Somebody may have had a third party here with the three cups. They're not glistening so much anymore. Now we have the seven of cups right behind the four. Okay? Confusion. I don't know where this is going to go. I don't know if Taurus is going to speak to me. I don't know if there's even a conversation that we can have or how am I going to come in. But I'm very excited to talk to them. I want to have a conversation. It's like this person's excited to come in and speak. They want to have, like, maybe a coffee or something. Um, yeah, King of Cups. Because they have deeper feelings than what they let on, okay? But the same, yeah, Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. But the thing about this is, Taurus, this person, like, normally has, like, they're battling. They're in between worlds right now. What I mean by that is, Taurus, they're in the between worlds of letting, you know, their addictions and things run them. Or they're either in this energy where they're allowing God to guide them. They're like, you know, they're, they're, they're in between. So in between those two worlds, Taurus, I think this person's like literally coming out with this energy of some type of an emotion. Emotions, but it's not like really emotional. It's just enough for you to see that this person, maybe in some way, shape, or form, is trying to learn a lesson. But I'm not sure here, Taurus, if you're going to let this person come back like this. Yeah, Eight of Swords. Because they're all in their head about these emotions, yet they don't really bring them out. They put themselves in this prison. They fear. They have a lot of fear. Not of swords here. So they make very impulsive decisions. King of Swords. And then when they start feeling something, or they start feeling like you're detecting something, even if it's just your intuition saying something, Queen of Swords over here, okay? They feel like they're your match, but in the same sense, you guys aren't a match. Because Taurus, all you are is about honesty. You're not going to come with no BS. This person here... Um, <clears throat> It's like if you guys talk and speak, it's going to be things that are said very, very um, uh, impulsively. It'll be impulsive words. Or maybe this has already happened. Yeah, because someone fails to listen to what? Their intuition. They don't listen to it. Not like you do, Taurus. I don't know I'm getting the energy here where you kind of like... Sorry, you just heard that Queen of Swords. I feel like Taurus, like you... Four sword, uh, Four Wands. Queen of Swords. Yeah, you're trying to protect who you are as a person. Yeah, Ten of Swords. So it's like this is an ending. This is a closing of a cycle. Yeah, look. Oh, my goodness. An ending, ending, ending. We have the Hermit here with the Death card and the Ten of Swords. This person's hoping that you are not completely cutting this out. Though the betrayal was there. Though there's transformation in your energy, Taurus. And though there's been some time where you've been away from this person. They're hoping and praying you're still going to give them a... You're going to make them... Ha you're going to give them some type of decision to make. 
They're hoping and praying, Three of Pentacles, you'll still work with them. They're hoping and praying, Taurus, Six of Pentacles, you'll give and take with them. They're hoping and praying, Taurus, that Ace of Cups, you still have love for them, like they still have love for you. Somebody has love for you here, but it's hidden in their passions. I, I don't know. It's like this individual may go on these excursions very impulsively. I'm serious, you guys. I'm not making fun. Someone cries after they're finished with whatever they're doing. And they know deep inside, like in some way, shape, or form, why did I just do that? But yet they'll be on the prowl for the next. You know, and then it's, it's like a repeated cycle. But the cycle's not something that's very, like, a long cycle drawn out. These are like little increments of like, and they sit in despair. Well, whomever this person is, Taurus, when they do the jammy jammy, okay, they get their rocks off. It's all fun and games. Till it's the ten of swords, till they feel in some way, shape, or form, Taurus, that they keep reliving an ending. They keep thinking about you. Maybe there's a sexual encounter you guys can remember together. I don't know. But here at the death card, yeah, they start thinking about you. What went wrong? You know, why... Why is this happening? Yes, yeah, Six of Cups. This is, remember, it's reminiscing. This is what's hurting them. The Ten of Swords. You would think it's the Ten of Swords that would be portrayed in the back. No. It's the memories that's haunting them. It's the memories that's haunting them. So every time they have an encounter with somebody, and I know this might sound very strange, this person feels very deep regret. They get in despair because why they were closed off from letting the connection go any further than just SCX. They don't know what to do after. They don't even know. This per person probably doesn't even know anything about aftercare, nothing like that. They don't, they probably just don't know. It probably stems from something in their childhood, but all they know is that they want to reconcile with you. But for sure, I'd make sure this person has their results in hand. I'd make sure you know exactly what's going on here because I'm just seeing too much of it here. And this regret and this night of pentacles, it's like there's a cycle already closed out here, but the three of wands is here twice. They're eager to find out something. They're eager to find some information. That's what I'm getting with the star in the reverse. They're afraid of the news coming out badly because they just feel like something's off about their genital area. Genitalia, whatever you want to call it. Here, what's this Eight of Swords? Eight of Wands. They can't help but Taurus to think about you actually spending time with someone else, climaxing with someone else, enjoying someone else's company. When there's King of Cups energy deep down inside, Seven of Swords, they don't want you to know. Or they want to come towards you with this Page of Wands energy and this Page of Pentacles energy. They cannot stop thinking about working with you. Eight, eight. Okay, year of the eight. Here are the Queen of Cups again at the bottom of the deck. They need your nurturing love. Okay, Six of Wands. I don't know why I'm hearing SZA or whatever her name is. I can't lose when I'm with you. That's what I'm hearing right here. Right here. This person feels like they'll be a winner. Okay, yeah, the lovers. They feel like they'll be a winner being around you. Seven of Cups here. Okay, whatever's going on here, Taurus, this person fantasizes about you when they're with other people. It's really, really, that's what's coming out. Four cups. They're bored with these other things going on. They want the three. They want the three cups. They want their wish fulfillment. And it's and it's a little selfish, I'm going to say, because whatever they got going on here and they're trying to come towards you and work on things, they need to figure this out first. Five of cups here. I get it. I understand they're in despair or whatnot, but heck, you'd be more in despair towards if this person gave you something you didn't ask for. A gift that keeps on giving. Two of wands. They're trying to make the decision whether they should come towards you now or not. The Empress. You better not bring the Empress no, no dank. Look at this. Ace of Cups and then the Seven of Swords. This person in some way, shape, or form, Taurus here with the Four of Pentacles, does not want you to know that they're really, really craving. They're really, really craving your energy, your love, your kindness, your home. Okay? Your home to them. All right? But the home is cold. You're not letting them in. They're in the Five of Pentacles. You're the Queen of Swords. Boundaries up, and here we are with the four wands. You're cold. There's like not a welcome mat on your doorstep for this person right now. It's more of a mat that says, fuck off. <laughs> and once they see that, they'll take, they'll hightail it. This person's still holding on to you. Four, four. Could be sending numbers, four, four, four angel numbers. Okay. They're still holding on in regret. That's what I'm getting here. They're holding on to a lot of regret. If they could do one thing, Taurus, not a swords, is get about the seven and not a swords energy, Taurus, because they cannot stop thinking about you. I don't know why it's weird. I'm not getting, um, the devil's here twice. I'm still not getting energy like, join us. Things like, I'm not getting that. I'm getting, yeah, like somebody's so, re it's repetitive thinking. It's like a, what if, what if, what if, coulda, shoulda, woulda, 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 coulda, shoulda. It's like they even talk to the nurse about this or other people they're around. 
What could have should have think it did this, 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 this? They don't really probably, they pretty much might not say your name, but look, I'm not, I'm not joking. What have could have should have did this, that? I didn't see. Oh man, I need to see clearly. I need some time alone. I need to work with Taurus. It's gonna hurt. Oh my gosh, I need it. You know, I don't know. It's like this energy where someone kind of fussy. Fussy. Yeah, that is what it is. Fussy. I'm fussy. It's like a toddler. But they're not a toddler. I'm not getting that energy. I'm just getting like, you know, uh, you know, I don't really want to do this today. Or, you know, people invite them out or people that they may sit around. They may, you know, deal with or whatever. They're in a lot of despair. And they want someone that's going to listen. Taurus, everybody around them seems to have some type of other agenda for them. Or they don't want to be around this person unless they got something they're giving. And this person, Taurus, right now doesn't have anything to give. They're still trying to wait on something to come in from the, whatever's going on. Spirit, give me something that three of wands again. Oh, ooh. Some at the bottom of the deck. There, something is about to be um, out in the open. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, because that tower hit first. Yeah. Somebody's about to come into a tower moment, you guys. Not for everybody, but somebody's about to run into a tower. The results are not going to be what they wanted them to be, and they should have listened to their intuition. This is where they're having their tower moment of starting to listen to themselves and starting to listen to their intuition instead of their magic stick or their clit. Whatever, whichever one it is. Whichever one it is. I can't, I don't have the, I don't have the patience to try to find one for the peach. You know, see, I could have used that. Somebody here should listen to their intuition. It's all crashing down of why they should have. So here we are at the five of sword, the five of uh, cups here. No wonder why they're in this remorse. Slowly coming towards you, even though this is shut down. Okay, Taurus, you have to talk with this person about if it's something curable, because I'm not sure. I'm not putting any emphasis on that. But here we're at the sun, yeah, exposure. Exposure, okay? Now this could be somebody they've been dealing with themselves, or this could be somebody that they've... Somebody they've been dealing with, okay? They moved away from, maybe blocked them and things like that. Kept some things hidden. Yeah, here they go walking away, trying to be strong. They want their Ten of Cups. Balance it out. Oh, I'm sorry for juggling. I've taken some time alone. I want to work with you badly. I'm willing to take that leap. I'm sorry. I've been holding on. You make me happy. Uh this ain't for everybody. This is for somebody. I don't... Somebody here is in major regret. Yeah. Yeah, they want to walk away from something that they kept a secret from you. Or maybe it was a nightlife or something. Who knows? But it ain't fair to them now. It's like this person's yelling, not fair. I don't know why I'm hearing that too. Not fair. Ooh. Taurus. They want a new beginning. Laura Sierra. Thank you for my angel numbers. Let me to the moon back, baby love. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate it so much. So much. So much. Mwah. I'm going to start using these towards every ending of the reading, okay? In case you might just like want to be curious. Hey, you know, just smile. I saw an angel number today. Uh, let's see if I'm going to come out. Yay. And of course, you're going to be like, you're going to be like, oh, I saw that number. And if you didn't, it's okay. We have 5-5, five, five, shift. Somebody had to go through all this to shift their... Okay, I'm sorry. 3-3, Thir three, three, action. Somebody's going to take action towards you. There, there's a shift happening here. We have 717, bravery. Yeah, y'all, somebody's going to be very brave to come towards you with this information. But you know what? I think it's better that they do than they don't. I feel, Taurus, some of you are not going to shut this person out. Just for the simple fact, Taurus, this person is listening to their gut and they're not going to come to you with BS. I felt that with the Two of Pentacles in the reverse. Like, they're not going to juggle if they, you know, would have, could have, sh I should have done that. They're in too much regret to send in that. Now, I'm not saying they're going to show up right now. I'm not saying they're going to show up tomorrow. It's up to this person. They have free will. They can do whatever the F they want. But I feel like this person truly wants to come to you and make things right. They truly want to work with you. The devil energy I'm seeing here is repetitive thinking. Somebody here might have racing thoughts, might have bad anxiety. Okay? It's different. It's a different stroke for different folks. I can't nail it to one situation or anything like that. It's general. So, and this may not even be your person going through this. It might be somebody they know on the outskirts going through it. And your person's afraid they can't come towards you and bring an offer, okay? Because they know they got caught creeping when they know they love you. It could be any way. You got to do one thing for me, Taurus. 
Make sure, my love, that when you leave here, you leave with something using your discernment only. Make sure your discernment was used throughout the whole entire reading is dealing with because it may not be for you. And if this didn't ring a bell for you, Taurus, maybe next time. But, babe, thanks so much for sitting in. Taurus, continue to be aware, okay, of who you are. Stay woke, okay? Stay optimistic. Stay at peace, Taurus, okay? Nobody's worth bothering that. Peace is price priceless. You can't buy peace anywhere, honey. You can't. Stay in your power, Taurus. Stay faithful and confident to yourself. I love you guys so dearly. Today's Monday, but guess what? It'll be done, and then tomorrow will be Tuesday. Taurus, I'm not playing. What are y'all making for dinner? I'm not <laughs> I'm not playing with y'all. Y'all know I like to eat. Taurus, come on. I'm not going to talk about this. No. <laughs> y'all know I like food. I love hearing y'all's meals and stuff. It just sounds so... Like I literally will like call my friend up and be like, you know, what are you, what are you having for dinner? Oh, I'm having this and that and this and that. Why, you want a plate? No, I just want to know what you're going to eat. Okay, so now I know what I'm going to eat. Like, <laughs> I'm weird, Taurus. I love food. I'm a fatty. Okay, Taurus. So, I know y'all cooking something good tonight, Taurus. What is it? Is it chicken with smothered mushrooms? Just, oh my goodness, Taurus. What? Y'all better tell me. I don't care if it's cornbread. Whatever it is, Taurus, put it in the comments. I want to know. I don't even want to know. All right, after all this here, you know, why would your small have an appetite after this? Because this is life. Now I want some food. <laughs> I love y'all, Taurus, to the moon and bok, bok, bok. And I'll talk to you guys next time, Taurus. Take good care. Happy Monday. Bye-bye.